leaders, you can be multipliers. You can use your intelligence and your capability to make everyone around you smarter. The skill of the next century in leadership is not how much you know, but how quickly you can access what other people know. See, multipliers aren't nice, warm, fuzzy, comfy leaders. It's partly why I liked the book. They're actually very hard-edged. They're very demanding. If you think about those people in your life that were multipliers, they expected a lot from you. The role of the multiplier is really to get people to think, to get out of the way, and to challenge them to think. Multipliers access more intelligence of the people they've already got in their team. So if you could access, for example, 95% of the intelligence and capability of the people you hired, then the likelihood is you're going to be able to run your business either faster through change, more innovatively, or possibly at a lower cost base while your competitors are having to pay to get more heads or more resources to do the same job. Multipliers didn't just get 100% of intelligence, they got way more. People came out smarter. Multipliers is about utilization. It's about saying if we've got 40,000 people in the organization, how can we access the majority of that intelligence? And it's interesting that we hire smart people and then we don't fully utilize them, so either they quit, which gives us a retention issue, or worse, they quit and stay, which gives us a morale issue. As a challenger, you set an intriguing puzzle that somebody wants to step into. Something that's an intriguing puzzle with this brilliant duality. You're gonna ask me to do something I don't think I'm capable of doing, but you're gonna make me believe that if anybody can, it's me. And the basic assumption I want you to change overall is people are smart and will figure it out. What is possible with access to the full intelligence of the people you are already paying for? What could you achieve if they gave more of their intelligence that's already there? Making that shift of assumption and just starting to realize that it's not all about you as the leader, but about your ability to get the other people thinking and their intelligence. That's the concept of multipliers.